Hi everyone, welcome back to Blatantly Bookish. Today I'm here to do a review of Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. Now, before I begin, I just want to apologize for the change in scenery. Um, I moved over like slightly in my room to face a different wall. Um, it's more comfortable to sit on my bed, but if the blank walls are bothering you, please let me know. I'll film in front of the bookshelf from now on if you like that way better. So Station Eleven is one of the two books I read this month in February, and I was impressed with this book, beyond impressed, and slightly obsessed with it for the first half of the month. It's a haunting book about a famous actor who dies of a heart attack the night that a deadly and virulent flu strain decimates the world's population. And we actually follow one of the child actors in the play that night as she tours with the symphony, which is a Shakespearean troupe that travels between towns in a post-apocalyptic North America. The book flits back and forth to before the flu hits and after, following characters linked to the original famous actor. It's a powerful book on what it means to be truly alive and the role that art has in making life meaningful. So post-apocalyptic stories really aren't my thing. I can count on, you know, on my hand the amount of times that I've actually enjoyed a post-apocalyptic read. They usually just make me pretty anxious and unhappy. Um, the Day After Tomorrow, that movie gave me nightmares for a really long time. But this was just beautifully executed, and it's actually a comforting and quiet kind of book about an apocalyptic event. But there are multiple different times and characters and storylines that we follow. They're wonderfully woven together, and the book stops being at some point about the apocalypse and about the flu and at some point it starts turning into just a story about living. It's very interesting to see the ties that Shakespeare has in this book. Um, Shakespeare, I mean they're a Shakespearean troupe, they go around performing Shakespeare plays and that's sort of what keeps them sane and what they find joy in. It's just so interesting to think that in a post-apocalyptic world, after technology sort of ceases to function, how Shakespeare still holds relevance in everyone's lives. And I think great literature can do that to us, um, Shakespeare and other works included. And this book is just a book that I will be thinking about for a really long time. This is the first book I read by Emily St. John Mandel, and she comes highly recommended, of course, by a lot of people on BookTube, but especially Katie from Books and Things. I'm going to link her video on Emily St. John Mandel below because I think it's definitely worth watching. I absolutely fell in love with her writing style. She has just this way of writing detail and memory that is just so meaningful. and she just tackles these big concepts of humanity and survival and legacy in in amazing ways. I, I can't explain it any better than that. I just want to read you one of the quotes that I fell in love with. I've been thinking lately about immortality, what it means to be remembered, what I want to be remembered for, certain questions concerning memory and fame. I love watching old movies. I watch the faces of the long-dead actors on the screen, and I think about how they'll never truly die. I know that's a cliché, but it happens to be true, not just the famous ones who everyone knows, the Clark Gables, the Ava Gardners, but the bit players, the maid carrying the tray, the butler, the cowboys in the bar, the third girl from the left in the nightclub. They're all immortal to me. First, we only want to be seen, but once we're seen, that's not enough anymore. After that, we want to be remembered. And so it's just this concept of how even the tiniest little details matter, and that's just so true in her stories, or at least this story. I hope it's true in her other stories as well. So I really loved Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I think that I need to pick up some of her other works because 
She's just a fantastic author, and I would like to hear more of what she has to say. So those were my thoughts on Emily St. John Mandel's Station Eleven. Have you guys read this book before? What did you think of it? I'd really like to know. And have you read any of her other books? Which one would you recommend that I read next? I'd love to hear what you thought about any of the themes in this book. Do you like post-apocalyptic fiction? Do you think that this one is markedly different than the other post-apocalyptic post-apocalyptic books that you've read and yeah I'd love to hear your thoughts so please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!